Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Steve from B&H Photo and we're here at NAB 2014. I'm talking with Bob from Blackmagic Design and he's going to go over the brand new Blackmagic Ursa camera, 4K and amazing. Yeah, thanks. Uh, the 4K uh, version of this Ursa camera is is uh, got a lot of things that people were using on our other cameras, bolting on monitors and things like that. So we created a new digital film camera that has three different lens, uh, three different monitors on it. So we have a 10 inch pull out uh, viewfinder, which is a 1920 by 1080. And then we have uh, another five inch monitor over here that we can view uh, different things, including just the display out, or we can look at uh, different menus and go through the, the different settings of the camera. And of course, we also have um, our focus peaking and um, uh, we have our audio metering and uh, histogram. So, it's, so that's uh, all independent. I don't get that menu screen on here. No, this is just designed to, to, to look at, at, at what you're shooting, and this is all the detail, basically. So this way, the DOP can use this, and maybe uh, someone else can be monitoring on this side or the other side, which we'll get to in a second. But we also have uh, two CFAST recorders. So the CFAST is great for motion imaging, and uh, when you fill up one, it'll automatically switch to the other side. So this is the new, the CFAST standard, CFAST 2.0. Exactly, yeah. So then on the other side, if we flip it around, we can see the other um, side here. This is a, another five inch monitor. Again, this is great for the focus assist station. The same monitor as, uh, as the other five inch, but you can, it's completely independent. So also. And do you have the same functions on both? Same functions on both, exactly. And then on this side, we also have where we have our fan empowered uh, mic inputs, and uh, we have an SDI out here and uh, 12 volt. And then we also have uh, time code in, uh, reference in, SDI in and out, and these are 12 gig SDI. This is uh, for for 60p uh, Ultra HD 4K. You need uh, 12 gig SDI on a so single cable. Last year, 6G was the big thing, and now. And it's 12G. 12. Exactly. And I see we finally shown some love to the uh, audio guys. Absolutely. We got audio meters over here, and uh, we also have, uh, we can see the peaking. So if I do that, I can see where it, where it, where it peaked on, on the uh, audio here. So uh, it's really kind of neat. I see the manual audio levels and headphones out. So really Excellent. taking care of the sound guys on this one. Exactly. And then on the back cap, we uh, have a, a battery. Uh, the the uh, plate that we provide can uh, be uh, used by either IDX or, or Anton Bauer. And then on the front of it, we have a choice of, um, of, uh, of lens mounts. <clears throat> lens mounts. So currently, this one right now is in a PL mount. This is a PL mount, and uh, that PL mount will be uh, $6,495. $6, and there's an EF mount as well, and that's uh, $5,995. In addition to that, we're going to have a B4 mount, which are for TV lenses, that'll be later in the year. And we're also going to have a, one without a mount at all, so it's going to be a cheese plate in front, and you can hook up uh, an HDMI output of a DSLR-type camera and use the whole rest of the body. So same body, but you're using DSLR. And now, what about future-proofing? So future-proofing here is that all of the features, with the exception of the sensor and the, uh, and the mount, will come, the sensor and mount will come out, and then when a new sensor is available down the road, we'll be able to put that in here and take advantage of all the rest of, of the, the features of the camera, including the cooling that, that we have. We have this thing, it's got liquid cooling inside. Really? Yeah, so it's really designed for higher frame rates as higher frame rate sensors become available. So right now, so the, what about the, um the cards, are those going to be changeable or for higher frame rates, how do you think you're going to handle that? The way we'll probably handle that most likely is to use uh, two, two cards at the same time and you do odd and even frames for okay. higher frame rate. That works really well. So what is our frame rate right now on this guy? This will go up to 60p. 60p and we can record that internally on the CFAST cards out the back. Exactly. This is right. So, very impressive little camera, <laughs> not quite, but a very impressive camera from Blackmagic. It's the Ursa. Bob, thanks for spending time with us. Thanks for having us. For b Photo, I'm Steve at NAB 2014.